seen you. Matrice sitting out there on pole. Good start by Mitch there. Into turn one, everyone's through there safely. Looks like Mitch is gonna try and pull the trigger straight away from the uh, front, eh? Um, joined up here by Damon Rees. It's your brother out there, mate. Yeah, he's uh, had a good day so far. He's doing well, um, pushing close to his PB around here in, in pretty cold track t uh, conditions and, and with a, you know, a pretty damn good ride. I like Hayden Fitzgerald chasing him along, so it's pretty good to see. Great to see Jesse Wicky, yeah, a motocross boy, another one transferring across. Motocross boys seem to tend, tend to come to road racing and find it quite easy, eh? Um, I would say find it easy, but uh, definitely they seem to gel with it a little bit more um, than just say if you hopped off a push bike and straight onto a road bike. It for sure makes a massive difference, but um, it takes a bit to still get that another step from what he's at now, but um, for sure it's uh, pretty cool to see another moto boy trying to do it. Definitely. Come along, motocross boys. Come and chance your arm and have a little go at road racing. Or well, out in front, standing start, man. Mitch Rees is on the gas, and he's running well away from Hayden Fitzgerald who's got Jesse Wicky on the back of him, and Zuri Wicky, what a good day he's had. Gamping down there, and Scooter, mate, he's humming. And right down the back is Greg Boyd, the one that stole my go-kart championship off me and then pipped me at Coin Road Hill Climb. Now Mitch Rees has just decided to pull the trigger today, so it's just warm it up and then muck around with everyone, beat them at the end, but this one, he is just gone ski, mate. 13.6 of a standing start, he has got the hammer down. Hayden Fitzgerald doesn't look like he's got anything, anything for him, although Hayden was just talking before he had wheelie and traction control issues. You haven't played around with that stuff too much yet, Damo? No, nah, I've, um, I've played a little bit with the traction controller on Tony's um, main superbike, but otherwise nothing to do with the wheelie controller or anything like that. But I do know that Mitch hasn't got any of that electronic aid. Mitch uh, just runs it straight off the bat, you know. Um, um, he runs it pretty much like how BSB races it, so he, he rides for sure pretty good. And I know for sure he put a, a good rear tyre on a new X or um, second-hand used X that had done a few, only a few laps. So he's got a bit of grip, and you can see that there he's pushing hard. Like, like you just mentioned then, the BSB, um, they're, they're not running any traction control. They've uh, taken Simon Craper's advice and stuff, and they, they don't run it. Unlimited chassis, pretty sort of standard motors compared to the other stuff. Trying to keep the cost down. And I, I think, hopefully, that we can keep the cost down and try and fill the fields up would be the goal for New Zealand. Yeah, for sure. Um, to have it more standard, obviously, means more affordability, means more riders. So. Um, hopefully the fields fill up again this season and um, should be good for race, uh, for good racing for sure. This is a great winter series, eh? Um, got two good superbike boys out the front showing everyone how it is. But uh, Jesse Wicky, man, first ride on a little 600. He he's definitely not disgracing himself at all. He's scooting along very good, and he's he's just hooked on there right behind Hayden Fitzgerald in third position, doing a sterling job out there with his uh, cousin Zuren Wicky on the 675. Something very, very, very different we haven't seen too much of in New Zealand. And then we've got Ian Reid. What a great ride that he's been having with uh, the super fast Nick Camping Down. Great club rider. And Scooter is just getting stronger and stronger. Got Adrian Clear there in eighth position. Greg Boyd through there on that KTM 1290 Super Duke, which he's scared of. Still. Uh, Mitch Rees then just did a 9.7 and he's cranked that thing out to 5.1 second gap. Okay, that was the first, just before the last lap scooting through. So we'll see what the gap is. All the laps, unfortunately, that had to be lose a lap. 
all the racers have had to drop a lap. Still just did a 9.7 there, Mitch. He's still got the hammer down, and he's, he's really trying to run away. Hayden seems to have rolled it off, but he's gone back to an 11, and that's why Jesse Wicky is sitting on the back of him with a 12. Doing a great job, though, for his uh, first race meeting to be hanging around with the with the class of uh, Hayden Fitzgerald. He's definitely looking like he's uh, going to be at the sticky end of this year, the sharp end of the pack in the 600 class. So this, uh, well, I've got Damon Rees beside me. This season, Tri-Series, uh, be the, well, be ducking down and doing the Burt Monroe and stuff, but Zuki Series, uh, what are you going to be campaigning or hope to campaign this year? Um, hopefully we'll be on board the new Fireblade uh, CB1000 that's uh, just been launched, um, the 27E model. So hopefully we'll have everything up and running and we'll be testing and make, hope, hopefully we've got the bikes running, you know, to the best um, by the time the Zuki Series rolls around and... Um, Hopefully be at the pointy end of the field in the superbike class, um, be my debut in the, in the superbike class. So I'm sure it's not going to be easy, but uh, I'm pretty confident I can run at the front end. We were just, uh, me and Mitch were having a little gas bag before in, in one of the other races, and uh, I was just talking about how we went up to Hamptons and to the test. And previously, years, tones gone by and borrowed people's bikes or helped them set them up, jumped on their bikes and then 0.1 or 0.6 them or second, even 1.6 Sam Smith on his bike. And then the other day, uh, Tony had to, when we were loading the bike in the back, he said to me, he's coming to get me. And I said, Tony, he's definitely coming to get you. Like your first real, uh, real good sort of a ride at that test day, traffic, and you did a 4.3 run up at Hampton Downs. Uh, I was a 4.7, um, same lap time as I did on my 600, so I suppose when you put it into perspective, I only had, um, I had a lot more horsepower, and I still only went as fast as I did on the 600, but uh, for a, just a test day, and it wasn't exactly stinking hot conditions, I was pretty stoked to be doing a time like that on a super bike for sure, and um, I really do enjoy riding them, they're bloody awesome machines to ride for sure. Well, I'm pretty sure it was the hardest pill for my dad to swallow for me finally beating him, but I had to wait till he was 48 years old. And your old man's ticked over past that, but a little bit harder for you because he's still the New Zealand current superbike champion. Um, yeah, won't it be nice? Be pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Like the things that you achieved last year with the old guy and, and with um, Mitch out there as well. Pretty special year last year, eh? Oh, for sure, it was a pretty special year, winning the Suzuki, um, the Moto 6 hour with um, with my brother Mitch and, and Dad, and um, again we went to the Burt and we won that, and then we, uh, me and Tony, we won the Suzuki series, and um, Mitch had a bit of a struggling time in the first two rounds, but he did bloody good for his opening opening round at Wanganui, so, um, and then uh, went to the New Zealand Superbike Championship, and um, Tony and I both took out the main classes, which is, um, you know, unheard of, um, and terms of when you look back in the history books of um, father son sort of or well, you know families winning the, the top premier classes it doesn't happen so it's pretty cool for sure and um, it's definitely not going to be easy to try and take it to the old man but um, hopefully uh, I can do it to him this year. Speaking of winning championships that uh, older brother just scooted through and just hammered him in that one uh, 9.8786 been his fastest lap boy he's coming today. Off oh, sure, he's bloody flying, and um, he pulled out the 10 second gap over Hayden. And um, Jesse Wicky, he hung on to Fitzgerald, and, and, and he really impressed me today. He's done some good lap times, and um, certainly is uh, getting there um, pretty quick on that on that uh, road bike. Nick camping down, just ducking through there to pick up sixth place. And Scooter, yeah, boy, great day. Seventh place, what a ride. There we go, and another Yamaha is in eighth place is Adrian Clear. And that burgling, cheating go-kart championship feeling red boy scooting through there. 